Hey everybody, I finally got an induction forge. If you don't know, induction forges create a magnetic field through here and with an electronic oscillator create eddy currents inside any metallic object and basically turn your object into a giant resistor and heat it up, usually really fast. I got this because they're quiet, um, they are very good at spot heating, and I'm hoping to use this system as a replacement for a lot of my torch work. Um, everything's gotten more expensive these days, fuel along with it, and propane is still okay, but oxyacetylene is getting very, very expensive. So my hope is I could spend a little bit to get a system that would take care of long-term expenses and uh, I don't know if it's gonna work I, I haven't fired it up yet so we're going to find out together um, <clears throat> the induction forge itself is just this box what is underneath here is a TIG cooler um, that's a it's it's just a pump it's just a pump um, this requires these are tubes they're not just wires and it requires water flow to go through them otherwise the induction will actually melt the coils so um we're going to turn it on we'll start with the tig cooler so it's not silent but that's just the pump The induction forge itself is just fan noise. Now it has a trigger here, and I don't know if you have to. So. Okay, so it clicks on, it clicks off. I have a workpiece here that is, uh, I need to straighten it, so this is something I would normally do with spot heating. Oh, it's working! It might have a timer on it. It just shut off. It's shutting off automatically, and I don't know why, so I'm going to figure that out. So I figured it out. It's pretty easy. There are timer settings up here, which is going to be difficult for you to see. But it doesn't matter because the manual controls are just the green and red buttons. So now it's on. And I don't actually trust the machine enough to do it myself, but I have understood that you can pass your hand through the coils and it's safe for people, but definitely wouldn't be safe for my wedding ring. I think this compares very favorably to torch heating.
Yeah, apparently don't touch the coil with the workpiece. You got a little sparking and the machine turned itself off. I am ridiculously happy with this. That is way faster than a torch. It's much cooler in the environment, in the operating environment of the shop than using a torch or using the forge. I could see doing entire projects, um, non-trivial projects with this tool. This is fantastic. It's not particularly cheap. It's probably not a beginner's tool. Um, but if you are in an area um, where you can't have an open flame, where that would be dangerous, like if you're working in your own basement, um, or if you are a reasonably experienced smith and you know that you love the hobby, I can't recommend this enough. That's fantastic. This is from uh, U.S. Solid. Uh, it is a Chinese machine. Uh, it was just an American company. Uh, contacted them and all of the parts are labeled in English. The instruction manual is in English. The instruction manual is a little light. It's okay. There's a lot of online resources for um, helping people uh, with induction forges. There's an entire induction forge support groups. Uh, they were started by the people who were using the Chinese machines with everything labeled in Chinese, and you had to be enough of an electronics wonk that you could figure it out by yourself. Um, but that is no longer necessary. Um, I consider these reasonably priced. Um, it's probably... Well, the project was not cheap. The project was not cheap. Um, it's about comparable to a light power hammer. It is. But um, gosh, I wish I'd done this sooner. I wish this had been available sooner. I don't think U.S. Solid has been on the market all that long, but um, Yeah, this is fantastic. I'm very happy with this. Um, see you next time.